Hi guys, my name is Phoenix, and today we're going to interview Nick and see if he can shed a little bit more light on what it's like to work for Her Interactive. He is currently one of the writers for Her Interactive, and in the last video, or two videos ago, I asked if you guys had any questions for him, so I took some of your questions online, and I compiled some of my own questions for Nick, and we'll see if he can tell us a little bit more of what it's like to work for Her Interactive as a writer. I'm Nick, I'm the writer, and uh... I have been for, I think, about three years here. I started with Shout Out the Water's Edge. It was my first game. Awesome. And... So you're responsible for all the scariness. Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, we all, I think, Travis, one of our animators, is responsible for the scariest moment of the game. Oh, The mirror okay. scene. Travis. For your homework assignment, I had you listen to Call Me Maybe. I can't say that. Did you like that song? Uh, more than I would like to admit. <laughs> All it's right. it's really catchy. What? It's not. Um, Can you name off one of the words? For us? Um. Well, there's the. the uh, no, I can't. Just one line. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's the chorus. The like, I just met you and this is crazy. Yeah. Something something. Call me baby. Okay. All right. That's that's good. I'll, I'm sorry, sorry, didn't. I'll it. check you off on that. I know. I've, I've heard it. So mm -hmm. I know there's like, I think the lyrics. But why do you like working for her interactive? Uh. The people, really. I, I love working with everyone here. It's a lot of fun. Uh, getting to write the game series, of course, is a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a big challenge each time to, to come up with a good game, but yet, overall, mm -hmm. it's, it's fun. It's good. <laughs> yeah. What do you think make her, makes Her Interactive unique? I think the, the number one thing that really does set us apart from a lot of game companies is our relationship with our fans. Okay. And how how much we try to keep in touch and try to adjust our games and make little tweaks here and there to find what it is that will really resonate with everybody. Who's your favorite character to write for? Um, it depends. Every game there's a character that I, I like mm -hmm. the most. And they're the characters that end up, that tend to be a little closer to my own personality. Mm -hmm. um, which, embarrassingly, is uh, Bess is one I like. Oh yeah? Bess, I think. It's, it's very easy to ego. to write like that. I, I think there's some similarity in the sense of humor, and I like I like the more ridiculous characters. Mm -hmm. Do you write anything based off of personal experience? Uh, for the most part, no. We we sit down and design the the games off of our, our design document and trying to get it to every character to fit the story as, as well as we can. But occasionally, speech patterns and mm -hmm. and things, uh, friends and and families that have shown up in the games, or people around the office. Yeah. That always kind of makes its way in. A lot of people wanted to know, if you reference the Nancy Drew books when you write a script. We do. Some we're very close to, and some we use as a almost a jumping off point. Mm -hmm. uh, Ash was a game where we stuck very close to yeah. a couple different books. And, um, yeah, every game has a book starting point. Mm -hmm from the yellow backs or some of the newer books. So you just come in here and take one of those Nancy Drew books off the shelf and mm -hmm. yep, look for inspiration. That's what yeah. behind him, everyone, in case you haven't noticed. Those are all Nancy Drew books and other how-to computer guides. Miss Horse Girl asks, do you take suggestions for Nancy Drew mysteries that she should solve? Uh, yes and no okay. is the, the fastest way to say it. We don't take uh, specific ideas for mysteries. And the reason for that is we actually have a, a ton of ideas internally that we're really excited to get to. Mm -hmm. And since each idea takes roughly six months to execute, sometimes a little more, there's, we have sort of more ideas than time. But we do spend a lot of time on the message board. Uh, I spend actually quite a bit of, of time checking in with what people are thinking about the games, what they like, mm -hmm. what they dislike. And while we don't take a specific idea, we do try to sort of take the temperature of what, what the fans like. Mm -hmm. Here's, here's one of my questions. If a tree falls and no one is around but Nancy Drew, does she hear it? Uh, she hears it, she interrogates it, and she finds out why it falls, and then she writes the situation. Awesome. Okay, next Nancy Drew game. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> JPRO127 asks, when writing a Nancy Drew storyline, it is mostly is it mostly an individual job, or is anyone else on the Her Interactive team involved? Uh, the dialogue tends to be an individual job. Okay. The story itself is a collaboration between right. uh, myself and the designer yeah. and sort of a larger creative team that's 
whoever really has time. So the core group is uh, myself and our lead designer, mm -hmm. and we also have a creative director, Tim, who provides a lot of feedback. We get feedback from anyone in the office who cares to give it for the most part. Oh, that's good. And so, yeah, it's, it's a team effort coming up with the story and crafting the story. How do you overcome writer's block? Um, or do you get it often? Or not at all, because you're just that good? Uh, deadlines. Deadlines. Okay. Deadlines are a great way to combat writer's block. Okay. And I think, I don't know if I've ever had to run in with writer's block. I've had days where I've written things that are awful that should never see the light of day. <laughs> uh, and then you just sort of get back and, and do it again. We're yeah. always running, so there's no... We're her interactive. We there's no time for we writer's have, block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We don't have problems like that. Oh, here's another really good question from jperro127 also. Mm -hmm. Since her interact games make two a year, is it stressful to write two plots at the same time, especially since the first game always previews the second game when completing it? Um, yes. Okay. Is it And is it two plots, or is it more than two? It's time? it's usually two. We work on two games at a time, for the most part. We're finishing one and starting the next. Yeah. So as we're wrapping up uh, the Deadly Device, which we still have quite a lot of work to do on, we're starting to work on the game that I can't tell you about, which yeah. is next. Yeah. And then beyond that, we already have a couple uh -huh. ideas that we're sort of troubleshooting and thinking about for the future. 